I will show you how you can make your own prison. I can't show you how you can build it block for block, but I will tell you what different components you will need, and if there is a tutorial for that, I will link it in the description, titled as a numbered media, just like the one that you see at the top right corner right now. Please be aware that building a prison requires at least a bit of redstone knowledge, so be prepared to grind your gears. So let's make a little inescapable prison. Cool? Cool. So what do we need? First things first, we need a good concept. Then, we obviously need an inescapable cell. Most probably, a way to visit the prisoner that also isn't abusable in any way. In addition to that, we need a ton of protection from outside forces. A system for the guards, most ideally bribe-proof. Some smart portal systems. And last but not least, a few small but important additions. Oh, yeah, and a banger outside decoration is not needed, but definitely helps to make the prison not look like shit. That is a lot to tackle, right? Well, let's get a few things off the list. In, let's say, 90 seconds? First, for the concept, decide on which dimension you want to build in. The nether has the nether roof that if you're above it, it stops chorus fruiting, and the end is a dimension with limited access points. Since I don't like the idea of occupying a whole dimension just for your prison, and the nether doesn't allow water placement, I will be focusing on the overworld. Next thing you'll have to do is make a layout plan on where things will probably go. This makes building and planning much easier. I highly recommend it. Normally, you do the outside as the very last thing you build, but we'll start with it now. You will most likely have a cube-shaped obsidian box after finishing your prison, and your job is to decorate it. I won't go super into detail, but try to stick to a color palette and try to break up the cube shape as much as possible by adding stuff around it. Just a cube with the most beautiful walls so that only one deep is still gonna look bad. Add depth to it, please. Let's talk about the cell now. There are a few cell designs that by itself are inescapable, solo. The biggest problem in cells is typically the respawn system. You can either obstruct the bed or break it. So make sure the prisoner hasn't got a way to access the bed, like in this design where you instantly get dropped down. I recommend Squillage design the most though, as it allows the bed to be way under the cell, with a lot of solid blocks in between. For more info, check the video in the description. I told you, three things off the list in 90 seconds. So let's carry on. We now need a way for visitors to get into the cell. There are two possibilities. Make a separate entrance, or let them use the same bed as the prisoner. However, that would mean that you will have to teleport him out later since you can't just kill him in there, he would just respawn inside of the cell. Till the visitor reaches the point of entrance, you will have to make sure he can't spawn any withers inside or bring any items inside. So build at least two differently designed kill checks to make sure he can't pick up any hidden items after his death. And for the withers, just keep everything so tiny that you can't build a three block wide soul sand statue needed to spawn one. Keep in mind that you can also spawn them horizontally. You will also need to include a one person door that detects invisible people. And now comes the real challenge. Make it chorus fruit proof. Put water everywhere. And if you can't for some reason, put signs or trapdoors there. It isn't perfect, but often it is not possible to make it 100% chorus fruit proof. Let's talk about guards. So the guards should be able to control the prison freely, but I still recommend a keycard system. So intruders can't really use prison controls to their advantage. The guards should be able to reach any point in the prison with ease to interfere with any problems that might pop up. More to that later. For the most important controls, like bed access and the portals, I recommend a separate control room only the warden can access. Make sure it is incredibly hard to get into the guard area and that the guards are protected from any attacks at any time. Now, let's move on to the portals. This is by far the question I got the absolute most. How do you link up the entrance portals? In theory, it is easy. Create a portal in the overworld. Divide the coordinates of that portal by 8, build the nether portal manually at the newly calculated coordinates in the nether, and then move the second inside portal close enough to the outside portal that they still connect to the same portal. If that sounded like complete gibberish, there are a lot of tutorials on YouTube that teach portal linking. When it comes to portals, you will also want to stop people from going into the portal in the nether and then creating a new portal in your prison. So make sure you either have trap portals set up or you don't even have enough space in the prison for a portal to generate. And now we come to the absolute hardest part. Outside force. Generally speaking, it is almost impossible to stop outside force completely. But we can delay it and make it hard to buy time. 
With the current design of Gaius Volk, we managed to defend against 150 armed players and withers without using chunk bands. Speaking of them, they are excellent for keeping people out of areas you don't want anyone to be in. There are a few different designs to chunk bands, but they are kind of complicated, so there will be links in the description for more info. If you don't want to use chunk bands because you feel like they are scummy, consider something like Perception Vault, which detects any intruders with observers or alternatively, just some good old walls. For walls, we settled on this design. It is the best one we could come up with, feel free to copy it. But wait, withers aren't even our main problem. Ender pearl glitching is. In case you didn't know, by angling your cursor just right, you can ender pearl through ceilings. This only works upwards though, so we have to protect our prison from intruders coming in through the floor. And no, Bedrock won't stop them, since you can break Bedrock, let a shulker hit you so you levitate, and then pearl through the Bedrock under the prison. So we need an overly complicated mess of random blocks to hinder people from ender pearl glitching. It kinda looks like this. There are air gaps in there, there are blocks that have an interface so you can't right click anymore once you're in them, there are observers picking up block breaking and whatnot. It is really complicated and unfortunately there isn't really video explaining the different designs yet, but I got a few attempts screenshotted for you. So try your best to copy them as best as you can. If you can't, just copy the design in the latest Gaius Vault download. Keep in mind that this topic is also ever evolving, with new discoveries being made every day. But as of now, there isn't a design that completely stops enderpearl glitching, but it can be made very, very hard. Now the last thing to cover are some small but important details. Of course, you want some elder gardens in there that apply mining fatigue every second. You may want a lockdown system that usually gets triggered by observers detecting change where they shouldn't be, or even the suicide button. Keep in mind, that the redstone lines are the most vulnerable part of your prison. So for the ones that lead outside, make sure to build them out of old-fashioned repeaters and obsidian. You can just copy our design of Gaius Vault. By the way, chunk bands also really help to protect those redstone lines. Oh, and you will want a lot of stasis chambers for the guards so they can move around better. You probably want to hide the guards' beds as best as possible, and you can also do that with the glitch Squilly discovered. To let the guards move around more freely, why not use the enderpool glitch to your advantage? Make the guards enter areas by glitching through the floor and going back with their stasis chambers. Also, you can use composters to look through all the walls so you can keep an eye on visitors and prisoners. You should find plenty of detailed tutorials in the 21 links I've provided below, and I can only recommend to check out mine and other creators' prisons. Remember to share the video with a friend that you want to build a prison with, and this has been Sinsven, and it's been a pleasure.